What's going on guys? So I'm filming this video obviously like a week or two in advance of me actually doing what I'm planning on doing. I'm gonna try to wrap this thing. So I am gonna do it by myself. I've got it ordered, it's coming in next week. The truck looks absolutely killer black, but it's gonna look absolutely insane. I'm gonna kinda just wing it, do the best I can. Hopefully this is a video because that means I actually managed to do it. So uh, yay. So it does look absolutely great in black, but black is done a million bazillion times and this color that we're going to be doing it is near and dear to my heart so it's going to be sick and i'm pretty daggum excited for it hopefully i can get it to come out good and do it right well she's pretty much gutted so went ahead and took all this out the only things i have not taken off is like this seal and i did take this off i put it back on this weather stripping uh, right here um, took it off, but I figured I'd leave it because it's going to be like two more days until the wrap actually comes in. Got the taillights out, but I didn't want to take those out and kind of get like a kink in them or something. And I don't know, not seal back properly. So, man, it's actually pretty fun. Hope as long as I can get everything back together. Chubert is sleepy. He's your sleepy pants. Dad, I'm going to go to bed for you. Well, I'm sure this is black and white, probably just to help build some suspense, but at the end of the day, spent a couple hours down here, and I've got the tailgate and the half door done. So it's just super duper time consuming getting it all smooth and trying not to get any wrinkles or anything in it. All right, guys, well, we're pretty much done on the D-Max. Um, it's not perfect. There's some places I want to go back and replace or fix or try to work out but I'm freaking tired of wrapping this thing. It's already incredible looking. I cannot wait to get it outside. It's gonna be so sick. But we're gonna get it outside, get my first impression seeing it outside, not in this cooped up basement. And dude, it's gonna be freaking insane. I know it's it's weird right now because I'm already showing it to you, but it's in black and white. So it's like, it's just like the chart was before I started this. So anyways, let's get this thing outside. See how she looks. Moment of truth. Let's see how this basement job did. Oh my gosh, it looks insane. guys well there she is what do you think this blue pops so freaking good with the polished wheels chrome mirrors black roof gosh dang it it looks freaking sick i think honestly one of my favorite looks one of my favorite angles is probably back here on the back coming up then you got the going up here and then it's all black oh my gosh it just looks just looks so freaking sick so if you've been following me for i guess since i got this truck you know i've talked about getting it wrapped or wrapping it or whatever if you've been following me before then i had my grabber blue mustang that i sold and so i was like what better color freaking do grabber blue on this thing and the color does look actually absolutely sick i have not seen uh another truck like this body style or i don't know if i've seen any that this this color i'm sure there's some um but I just, I had to go with the old grabber blue and it looks freaking sick. And I really just wanted to go ahead and give it a shot myself. The wrap is not super duper expensive. 
um, and I just wanted to try it. I've never done wrap before. I've done windshield tint and I absolutely hated it. It was just terrible. But the uh, wrap is supposed to be more user friendly and it was more than wind tint, but it was still not very fun. I'm not gonna lie. It was, it was a very tedious, long pro process. And there's obvious techniques that I don't know because some places are not perfect, they're not great. And unfortunately, that's just the case of me being a noob about this. I didn't go through and watch a bazillion videos. I think I watched one video, how this guy wrapped the hood. And that was before I ordered everything. I was like, screw it, let's just give it a shot. And uh, voila, there we go. There's our uh, basement special. This is basically like my Mustang in a truck. And it, it looks, oh my gosh, I can't. It's just it's so good, so freaking good. It's kind of crazy seeing this thing blue, dude. It looks, it's so weird seeing blue. <laughs> well, first drive with it being blue and wow, is it getting some attention. So this truck already got a lot of attention with the big polished wheels. Pretty much everyone that cared about anything even people that didn't care, people still looking. But oh my gosh, now I'm talking about everyone and their brother, people that are, you're passing by, like, I'm sure they can't see and y'all probably can't see them, but these people, they're gonna be like, shook looking. Yup, so attention grabber blue. That's what we should have called this color because that's, that's pretty much what you could have called it. Oh, it feels so good to get this truck out. Listen to that thing. Oh my goodness. It feels freaking good to have this truck out. I'm not gonna lie, I did miss it. It's been about two weeks I didn't drive it. I got the guy. Got that diesel itch, bro. I was like, I need to drive this thing. So I was just like, screw it. I'm tired of wrapping this thing. I slap this thing's fish together, finish it up get it on the road. off the side of the road whoever's property this is y'all got a nice property got the little windmill out there i see some geese or a goose walking across through the grass i got most of it done and then i was like dude i'm so sick and tired of wrapping this my fingers hurt let's freaking get it done i want to see this thing outside so i just started slapping it together and um not perfect haven't washed it still got handprints and stuff all over it but dude she's freaking blue aj you need to come down here and so we can get pictures together because my Mustang, he's who bought it, and this side by side, dude, be unreal. Somebody got a good paint shop, I would happily paint this truck. Like a flawless grabber blue paint job on this thing. Dude, I would rock this for the rest of my life. No joke. Do the black and the chrome and the grabber blue. It, it just came out so freaking good. I should have popped the sunroof up because it looks sick with the sunroof too, but yeah so anyways we'll see if i find somewhere else to film something but as of right now i'm about to get out of this sun because it's like stupid hot out here bro we about to ghost ride oh my goodness
I know this video has jumped all over the place, but we at Gear's house, we're about to go over, have dinner with Jacob and Deidre for her birthday. So we're on a pretty tight schedule, so that's why I've been jumping around, stopping everywhere, trying to get different angles and whatnot, but she is, uh, if, it, if it's looking like it's looking through the back of the GoPro, it is looking super light blue right here. So I guess this is probably where we're going to end the video off. Me and Gear are about to go take the old Honda, but we, about to, we import life now. We better scrap these V8 and diesels and crap, man. We better scrap them. But, uh, yeah, definitely leave me some feedback down below. Let me know what you think. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Thank you.